Hello everybody and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I'll be showing my Zenorian Heavy Lifter SSTO capable of carrying a 120 ton payload to a 150 kilometer orbit above Kerbal and landing safely. The only mod I use is McJeb because even though I can fly it without it, sometimes I just want to build things in space and not have to fly every part manually. So aside from that, it makes an off-stock single stage rocket with a 215 part count, not including cargo. I wanted to make a heavy transport with a low part count to avoid any excessive strain on a PC that comes with using large space planes. It may not be as fuel efficient as a space plane, but it gets the job done. So let's begin. Here we have the Zenorian Heavy Lifter. It has a lot of support struts to keep it from flexing, so that way it doesn't shake loose. There's even a ladder system going up the side of it, so that way you can have Kerbals climb down or load more Kerbals up. And now let's launch into space to 150 kilometer orbit. Since it's going to take it a few minutes to get into space, I'll just fast forward so that way you all don't have to wait. Now it'll make some corrections and prepare to get into orbit. Now we'll make our final push into orbit here. It'll take just a moment and we'll be done. And there we have it. We're at 150 kilometer orbit above Kerbin. It took a few minutes, but we made it. As you can see, I locked the fuel tanks down so that way they were full the whole time. And also, when I release the cargo into space, any ship that docks with it can refuel off of it. This ship is also equipped with the liquid RCS thrusters so that way it can move about easily. Such large ships require much more thrust in order to move with the RCS thrusters, and these work a lot better. All right, now let's undock from the cargo and prepare to return to Kerbin. So it looks like we have just enough fuel to return back to Kerbin. So let's prepare to land at the Kerbin Space Center. I've also set this ship up to where the outer thrusters can be disabled. So that way you're only using the single inner thruster. That way you're not using too much force when trying to make corrections. And also, a lot of times, it only needs that one thruster to land. As I fast forward, you can see that it's beginning to make corrections and preparing to slow down for its descent. And we're finally beginning to enter Kerbal Atmosphere and it'll be yet another flight accomplished by Jedediah Kerman. As we get closer to the Kerbal Space Center and our altitude lowers, we begin to slow down and deploy our chutes. It's important not to use time warp as you get lower to the ground. Once the chutes fully deploy, there's a chance they might rip off if you're using time warp. And now our chutes are deployed and we slow our descent to the ground. There's a little bit of fuel left over, so that'll help slow the rocket down a little bit. I usually use an 80-ton payload, which usually leaves enough fuel left over that I can land without using parachutes. But this works just as good. And now we are safely landed back on Kerbin with the Zenorian Heavy Lifter SSTO with a 120 ton payload in orbit. I had a lot of fun making this. I hope you all enjoyed it. I plan to make many more things in the future and I enjoy playing Kerbal Space Program. I hope you all do too. Thank you and have fun flying.